woman, and if we're supposed to use these sort of generic pronouns to refer to men and women, then we ought to be using them at their most root level, which is the biological differences. If you want to talk about hijacking pronouns that have historically been used to describe male and female in biological sense, and then suggest that I am forced to use those pronouns to apply to people who do not fulfill those biological functions, uh, then I have a bit of a problem. Was Jesus transgender? The very question keeps me up most nights in contemplation. If pronouns are inherently biological, as Mr. Shapiro and his ilk would have us believe, I can't find any logical reason to answer in the negative. Jesus was clearly transgender. If people like Ben Shapiro are right, then pronouns naturally emanate from one's chromosomes, the way that forgetfulness naturally emanates from Joe Biden and Dianne Feinstein. Jesus has he-him pronouns, Mary Magdalene has she-her pronouns, and Michael Jackson has he-he pronouns. Just as a pimple oozes pus, so too do genitalia ooze pronouns. But Jesus is no ordinary pimple. If the Christians are right, Jesus is not an ordinary pus bucket of human organs and moistness. Jesus is God become man, a puny mortal man at that. And yes, I understand Shapiro is a Jew, not a Christian, but JUDEO-CHRISTIAN VALUES Did Jesus have an XY karyotype? Did he have a male phenotype? Did he have a penis? Well, he must have. Otherwise, why would we be calling him HE throughout the Bible? And yet... The good book seems to be hiding a darker truth than we ever imagined. The Tanakh, the New Testament of the Bible, the Quran, all refer to God as He. But not just any He, a capitalized He. Yet, God has no chromosomes. He has no puny mortal body, or a body of any kind. Well, unless he's Mormon. God the Father, who's a physical man with a body of flesh and bones, probably about six feet tall, lives on a place called Kolob, had sexual relations with Mary. Remember, he's a man. But let's just safely assume that God isn't Mormon. He's actually a Scientologist. <laughs> <laughs> that means God's pronouns must come from some other source besides biology. God is certainly a he. His gender is male. But not some puny mortal male. No, God's gender is divine. He transcends karyotype, phenotype, animal, vegetable, and mineral. This we can safely assume. But, and it's a bigger but than the one I sit on, if God became man through the God-man-boy Jesus, then God transitioned from having a divine gender to having a puny mortal gender. Thus, and I say this with no trepidation, only that which is self-evident shall flow from my mouth. Jesus was transgender. He was also really gay, by the way.